Until the cell is opened, the cell can't be closed. How do you prep somebody to get ready to spend more money? You ever do it standing? I do. It's the first problem. Don't ever present numbers standing. Guys, please fucking understand what I'm saying to you. Give me some objections. Uh, what is this guy got? What do you got? What do you got? What's up, Andy? How we doing? What's up, baby? Talk to me. All right, man. So I've been in sales just over a year. Fresh to it. It's the reason why I'm here. Trying to level up. One thing I'm go uh, I run into is a young company, HVAC Sales. I get there, the pitch, they love everything, the price, eh, work through it. However, the warranties that we offer are a decade's worth. 10, 10, and 10, right? 10 year parts, 10 year labor, 10 year unit replacement. You're getting all new stuff. You're a young company, you've been open for five years. How do I know that you're gonna make it to the point when I need you in that warranty? Okay, so number one, he's saying he's in a home, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. He's in a seated position, right? Correct. You ever do it standing? I do. That's your first problem. In a seated position, everything is written and that's how we close. Don't ever present numbers standing. We close on our seat, we, we sell on our feet. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, I noticed a couple things that are concerning to me. I told you if I found something concerning, I would let you know. Where can we sit? You here? Is this where we're gonna sit? And I'm gonna sit here with you just like this. I'm gonna set you here, and by the way, just so everybody's aware, if you're ever in a seated position, ever in any industry with somebody, you write it down. You get knee to knee with them. You close face to face. You, you never present standing up. Rule number one, no numbers ever get presented standing up. How much is it? Well, there's a couple different ways we could go to really explain it to you. Where's a place we can sit down real quick? Because I want to explain it in case you have any questions. I want you to be able to interrupt me. Is that okay? Where can we sit? See, move them, shift them. Where are we going? Living room? We going to the showroom floor? We going to the F&I office? We going over here? Can we sit down over here like this? Does that make sense? You guys feel me? Yeah. You guys, please fucking understand what I'm saying to you. And by the way, whoever trained you should have never say, say, rule number one, if there's ever any money involved, always sit down when you're presenting the money. So for sure, like you, like you asked me, have I ever done it standing up? Yes. Rule for the company is start at the table, end at the table. Always okay. sit down and just... Okay, good. So, so, but you have to respect those rules because those rules matter because that's how people operate. If somebody's going to say yes and spend money, you slow them down when they sit. I can say no very quickly to you and we're standing up. Like hit me with something right now. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. It's like we're standing up. So my goal is, is that I want to find somewhere. And by the way, I always say this. Hey, I want to go over this with you real quick. And you're probably going to interrupt me and ask me some questions because we've got a couple different ways to go. Where can we have a seat? So then I'm going to pivot and find that place. Now, once I sit down, don't sit across from them. Just to let you guys know, always get knee to knee. So it goes like this. There's a chair, table, chair. And I'll be like, hey, just so in case you have any questions, in case you want to interrupt me, can I slide around here? Is that okay? Can I come around here? Is that cool? Okay, great. And then I sit next to you. Now it's us here together. Now, can I put my arm around you here? Okay, I can control you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay. So then we go to what the problem is. All right, sir. Now, by the way, how, how do you present it? When you go and meet somebody in the beginning, right? People usually request um, information to get something fixed, right? But your goal is to replace a unit. Is that right? Correct. Okay, so everybody understand this. You know what HVAC is? What is it? Tell them what it is. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. So okay. Furnace and air, furnace and air People conditioning. People like my shit don't work. And then they request, you know, for him to come out and he goes out with intentions to sell a system, right? Because he don't want to fucking fix a couple of things. You want to sell him a new system. Am I right? Damn yeah, right. You guys feel me? Yeah. Somebody's like, that's why we fucking bought that system. <laughs> I see. Okay, so now you guys are understanding sales. It's good for you in your life and to understand how to sell to others. So when he goes in, what's the first thing you say when you walk in? <laughs> like, how do you get them, everybody, until the cell is opened, the cell can't be closed. How do you prep somebody to get ready to spend more money? How do you get them open to the idea to look at other things? When you go and you present the system to them, right? 
How do you set that up before you go and say, I'm going to get back with you, and then how do you set that up? Starts with a phone call. Uh, no, 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 I know that, but I'm in the house now. I walk in, hey, Betty, where's the, the furnace? Where's the, and then she says, it's over there, and you say what? Uh, can we sit down and talk about a couple things? I want to cover with you what your intentions are today. Obviously, I'm here for a new system, but what are your Ooh. concerns? And I'm here today for a new system. You're going to pull the rabbit out of the hat before you even fucking did the magic trick? So, hold on. Here's why, right? I'm going to cover He's you. like, bow, bitch. He's like, you showed me the rabbit when you got here. He's like, fuck. So, it's <laughs> because of the qualifying quote. I'm just kidding. By the way, do you, okay, everybody remember this. Don't ever let anyone else know your business better than you. Am I an HVAC salesperson? No. No. No, but I fucking know the way this works and by the way listen to me I know this sounds crazy but I will hang on your words and hang you with them do you guys feel me when I was 18 years old I had what I thought was the greatest closer in the history of the world it kind of looked like him slick back fucking hair they all got slick hair just like they're all fucking slick back hair suit shake your hand sideways you know it was like how you doing it was one of these dude this guy was good I was like dude this guy's dangerous and he told me he goes he goes, Andy, you got to remember to remember what you hear. Every little word they say, you need to figure out what to hang on to because later you're going to hang a close on something they said. You got to listen. He goes, most salespeople are idiots. They don't listen. That's why I want to go, you know, so what I do is I sit them down and sell a new system. I'm like, whoa, because I'm listening to what you're saying because everything you're saying will be used later on. You know what a lawyer is, right? A great salesman is like a great lawyer. They will get you to say stuff that you don't want to say and they will use it back against you. And even if you meant it or not, you said it in court and they fucking got you. They're like, so you didn't mean to say that, but you said it. And you're like, well, no, that's it. And they're like, okay, I don't know if we can trust you now. And all of a sudden, everybody's like, we can't trust them. And they're like, they're like, throw them in jail. And you're like, dude, that's not what I meant to say. Then motherfucker, slow down when you speak. Okay, because if you say the wrong shit, you might end up in jail. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Some of you guys need to understand this. I've been in trouble before. You better slow down. But if you want to close anyone, you must be very good at listening. So I'll probe with questions, but when you come into the home, you're like, you're like, hey, you know, Miss Johnson, today I'm here today because you reached out about us looking at a furnace. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, beautiful. Well, my name's Andy. Thank you so much for being with us. Our company is X, Y, and Z. So I just want to put a name with the face. Um, my goal today is to make sure that we fix that. Um, I want to ask you a question. If I see any other concerning problems, would it be okay if I made you aware of it today? Absolutely. That's the open. Does that the open? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, now it's like it's like who's in the automotive industry? If I'm a service guy. I'm going to be like, today we're going to go ahead and do your tire rotation and your oil change. By the way, while we're doing those two, if we see anything that's concerning, is it okay for us to have the technician let you know? Yeah, they're like, yeah, let me know if you see something concerning. I'm like, beautiful. That's the setup, okay? So anyway, so now, now you go look at the furnace. By the way, we're not trying to charge. Look, if it's a screw, I'm not trying to charge in the system. But if I look at it, I do, this system's nine years old, right? Like, dude, they need a new system. Okay, cool. Let's price off some parts, but these people need a new system. So I need to go sell that. Okay, now let's get to that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going there. You're, we're in a seated position. You're going through the cell. And by the way, you've been doing this for a year, so I'm not like playing you. I'm like trying to tell you because I want when you go home to just think like, man, what did Andy say? Like, how are we going to get this done? Um, so, so now where's the objection come in? You presented what the system cost, right? That's correct. All right, Maybe let's go. Options, price, everything mm -hmm. like that. Yep. They're ready to move forward. However, they've had company X, Y, and Z come out. They've been, you know, in business for you know ninety some years. You know, we're a, a company that's only five years old, and we're offering a decade's worth of warranties. Okay. Why do I want to go with you when I don't even know if you can make it those next ten years? Is that what they say to you? I've had a couple customers here lately. If they say to you, they don't believe that in you. Because remember, if I'm sitting next to somebody, they're like, well, I don't know. We want to use this company that's been in business, you know, five times longer than you. How do we know you're going to be around? I'm like, what? Who have you been talking to? That didn't even make sense. Would you want to do business with somebody that has the new age stuff that lasts longer, that's more efficient, that saves more money? Or would you want to use the older stuff with the older companies? Probably someone newer, right? 
That's right. See, I made him say yes by shaking my head. I can get him to move where I want him to move. Listen to me. If they say, well, you know, I'm just giving an example. If I've been in business for, for 100 years, I'm going to say, listen, ma'am, I've been in business for 100 years, okay? What we've learned is that a lot of companies come by, they offer lesser quotes, and they're fly-by-night companies. They promise you warranties. They tell you they're going to do it for this. But the problem is they're not going to be in business in two years. So whenever you go to call the number and you have a problem, it goes, do 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 and then there's no one there, and then you're going to call me, and then I'm going to have to do the work twice, and how expensive is that going to be? So you don't want to do business with somebody that's only been in business for a few years. So that's an absolute no-no. So if money's your biggest concern, do it with us. We'll take care of you. you got this guaranteed warranty. We take care of our community. Thank you so much. That would be that. But if they've been in business for a long time and you haven't, you'll say, I'm sure that you've seen a lot of these companies have been in business for a long time, have been in the community, but they use older, outdated uh, materials and resources and what happens those things are more expensive so we use new up-to-date stuff which I would have language for that and I would tell you our, our job is to come in here replace that old unit you have a utility bill right put in new age stuff that actually lowers the utility bill so it's really not going to cost you any money so I'm gonna ask you a question what's the monthly payment on this new system gonna cost uh, you get a new system for roughly around uh, $110 a month. Okay, $110 a month, you got a new system. How much is your energy bill right now? Uh, your utility okay. bill? Average what I've seen across is around $250 a month. $250. Can I ask you a question? If you literally could almost get close to saving $100 here, the system would basically be free. Am I right? That's right. Would it be worth you to get a brand new system in that actually saved you on energy that was better, that had a warranty like the one yours doesn't have, that you know you'd be protected for the next 10, 20, 30 years? Yes or no? Yes. Cool. So you're already spending the money. Now you're saving money. Let's get the new system put in. Do, do these new systems help lower efficiency and create lower t utility bills? Yes or no? Yes. Motherfucker. <laughs> That's how I would sell this shit. I mean, I'm not even playing. I'm like, guys, you're already spending the money anyways. So you can either keep spending the same money and we can spend more money and I'll keep coming out here to fix it every time and your utility bill is going to continue to rise or we can just go with something efficient, make sure it's got a good warranty. And by the way, all the future calls, if something ever happens, which it won't, you call me and that's just paid for. It's the same money. Everybody's like, well, it's the same money. I mean, why wouldn't we do it? And then the deal is, is that you wrap it up. Does that make sense? Did you okay feel me? Yeah. Okay. Everybody write this down. And, and like you need to find out how to use this in your industry. Money justification. You need to justify where the money is at that they can't see or find. That's the goal. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.